Yo ho hello! Welcome aboard, Skellywags! It's me, Roger Riptide, skipper of the last resort, and today we are headed back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's uh, the start of a new month, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got in store. SS25R, good afternoon, welcome! Glad to have you here! So punctual too. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting right into the gameplay, but first I just wanted to say uh, thank you to all you Skellywags uh, for being my followers. We reached 50 followers uh, yesterday, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching, thanks for following, and I hope you all are having a good time, and I look forward to where we'll go from here. Um, I've got a couple new things cooking I want to bring to the stream. Most of the stuff I've been using since I started, but I want to try to make a few new things. But it might be a little while before you see any of that. So, uh, just know that I appreciate you, and I hope uh, to make it worth your time. Okay, but now for the game, let's get right into it. The Blue Sea Moon. Show. Seikai no Setz. Megami Saitan no Gi. The Goddess's Right of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow, the blue star, the blue sea star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garigmak Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much-anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Seiros is sure to be in attendance. Oh, only the true followers, huh? Already drawing those lines? Yeah, we're playing in classic. Let's try to keep everybody alive. Receive 3k from the church as funding, and it's Casper's birthday. I will buy flowers for Casper. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. Oh. What's up on the fifth? Our mission this month is to patrol and set up defenses to stop the assassination plot. Oh, that's right. You did talk about that last time. <laughs> I wonder if an assassination attempt is truly the goal of our enemy. I was thinking two steps ahead, aren't you, Hubert? You're streets ahead. Um... I agree. They probably... I mean, especially when we know about it. Like, they would surely have spies and know that we know, and they wouldn't actually move forward with an assassination on the most powerful figure in the church and hope to get away with it. So if they're still going forward with the plan, then that means they never wanted to achieve to accomplish that assassination in the first place. They just want us on the defensive in that way. Yes, I think so too. All that you just said. A barely concealed secret message, trying to distract us from whatever's really going on. Sloppy to say the least. 
And while everyone is out searching for a phantom assassin, they'll be free to accomplish their true goal with ease. The monastery houses many valuable weapons. Perhaps that is their aim. I hear the monastery has a treasure vault, too. Seems like the sort of place a foe would like some alone time in. Garagmak is immense, and not just above ground, but below as well. Perhaps their aim lies beneath the monastery. It seems to me that we should search the monastery for a clue as to what the enemy might be after. Of course, we must never underestimate the need for preparedness, in case a battle should ensue. A secret meeting, Professor. Hello. Oh. We haven't been introduced. I'm Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Seros. And this young man is... Oh, I recognize him. I work for Lady Rhea. I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. God damn it, Cyril. Um... I know you work for Rhea, so I guess I'm more surprised that you're Shamir's apprentice. Yep, he's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Well, well, well. How intriguing. Everybody explores on a day like today. Are there any certifications to take place? Yes. Um... One... Two, three, four. Okay, four. But I think if we go to the marketplace, um, they only have three for sale. Okay, so, do I want to sell, what do I do with these books? Oh, it increases stats. Interesting. Don't want to sell that then. Um, then let's go to certifications. So... Edelgard and Linhart, Bernadetta and Dorothea are the ones. But which one of you will not? And you can all pass. Um. think? What are your options? No, I don't want you to be any of those. The mage is what I'm training you to be. Um... Well, first let's go to the menu and the... What was it? The roster? No, it was in the certifications menu. Go to certifications. I click you. Go to status. 
classes. Okay. You have now finished your beginner thing. So I can go back. No. And have you be No. How do I change the why is this so convoluted? I just... Right now, the commoner is equipped. And now I want him to be... The Myrmidon. Please. Um... Okay, so maybe it's that I check the progress in the certification menu, but then to change, I have to go here reclass there it is you become a myrmidon yes now you can gain that thing you don't have the star yet neither do you you're working on that working on that working on that working on that Working on that. Working on that. Okay. Well, since Edelgard's still working on Commoner, I think we can put off her certification, and I'll do the other three. Okay. So let's go back to certifications. And heart. Her options are mage, dark mage, and priest. And we want you to be a priest. You pass, of course. Uh, but we will not change yet. Okay. And then... Uh, Bernadetta... I'll have you become an archer. Not change yet. And Dorothea, you will become a mage. Not change yet. Okay. That's my three intermediate seals. What will your options be? Four and six? <clears throat> An armored knight? Or... A brigand? Huh. Maybe we'll have... You be an armored knight. Don't really have one of those yet. Okay. Well, that's certifications. Um, if I go to the menu... No. If... I go to the roster... Um, inventory, items. If we use 
to increase dex. If it's in Riptide's inventory, will he automatically use it? Or can I choose who it gets used on? This increases luck by four, so I don't mind if Riptide uses that, so we'll test with this. Okay. Yeah, you want to make sure it's in the inventory of the person who's going to use it. Okay, so... Who wants Dex? Um... Nine, nine, thirteen, nine, nine, twelve, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, let's give it to Bernadetta. So if we go to Riptide's inventory. Trade. Huh. I can't just... No, if I store it and then go to... Dexterity affects hit rate and how often a unit crits. Okay. Um... Yeah, I see no issue with Bernadetta learning that. Um... So now we have to go to the storehouse to get it out. No, it's not in the storehouse. Oh my god. Um... If we... Go back to the roster. Inventory. No, don't store all. Uh-huh. Here we are. The secret book. And now, items, secret book, use, yes. But there's the ambrosia. What does ambrosia do? Um, if we go to items, Take... Defense. Defense plus one. Okay, let's give that to... Uh, Edelgard. So we store it. We go to Edelgard. Items. Rosia, take. Cool. Okay. We used up the books we had. Now, we've got new support conversations. Let's not let them pile up this time. Edelgard and Casper. Yeah. 
Link, is that you? Training again? You're certainly working hard, Casper. Even on the week of your birthday. Oh, Edelgard! You scared me! You should have said something! I did, you deaf idiot. I did, but no matter. What has you training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill-advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Thanks, I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. Plus, any time I stop training, I start thinking about how I killed the... How my dad killed the dad of one of my classmates. So I gotta just keep training. And I won't think about it. I just think about the training. Why think about anything else? If memory serves, you're the second son of House Briglias, right? Yeah, House Briglias? That's the one where my dad killed the other dad. That's right. My older brother is the heir. And there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? Can't rely on my dad to kill everybody's dad for me. I understand. It's difficult being born the noble. Sometimes your dad gets killed by someone else's dad. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens. Like the death of your father. But the same can be said of those who inherit nothing once their dad dies and doesn't give them anything. Huh? What, what are you talking about? Why are you bringing up dads killing each other so much? I, 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 I don't have any troubles like that. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? Your dad hasn't been killed by my dad. You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Casper? I bet my dad could beat your dad. Hey now, come on! There's no way your dad could beat my dad. My dad's the number one dad killer. I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? I'll never understand her. Little Garden Casper have attained support level C. And that's it for support. Nice. So now, we have finished the management, and we can, or oh, wait, first we should check the schedule. Schedule details. Chance to catch something, if I can find some bait. Oh, and there's a specialty if we eat in the cafeteria. Tournament, that sounds new. Um, okay. Oh, and the reward for doing the tournament is a steel sword plus. Okay. Let's explore. Know your enemy. I am seeking assistance with a matter of grave importance. More details to come. I'll give you the feather of an owl that I found on the ground near the dumpster out back. Please, come help me. Um... Tournaments start this week. And tea! Oh, we're finally getting to the tea parties! Okay. In hiding. Okay. Lots of quests then. 
So this is where you are. A hero's relic. Um, do you know something? However, could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. Stone within the sword. The sword within the stone. Are you familiar with King Arthur? Oh, it is nothing. Okay. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an underground we haven't been to yet. Hey! You, uh, come here often? You spend too much time roaming the monastery. Do, do I? I? I feel like it's kind of necessary for the amount of stuff around. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Well, you see, sometimes there's like bait or seeds or some random stuff flying around in the little corners that I can steal for my gardening and my fishing hobbies. Uh, you don't have any on you, do you? I'm not looking for anything. If I say that, she might scold me for just wasting my time then. But if I say, oh, I'm not actually uh, looking for anything, what, you, what I'm doing when you see me just walking around is I'm thinking she might be impressed. Do you even know who the enemy is? Can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. How close are we talking? Um... Do you, uh... Do you like wet, wet stones? Uh, you know, you know, like, like, uh, uh, with an H in there. Not that, the, uh, it, uh, I... Okay. That went well. Let's... Uh, aha! See? Like this thing. Some bait. An earthworm. Hey, Bernadetta. If you're looking for something, I probably can't help you. I still don't know what's where around here. Didn't I see you in the dining hall last night? I get hungry sometimes, like anyone else. Eating at night is bad for you? There's no way that's true. Wait, really? Well, it depends on when you go to sleep. You gotta give yourself a couple hours. To digest. Okay. Down there. Hello. Probably a tasteless joke. Ooh, look at the stuff over here. Smithing stone. And some fish. I don't want fish, I want bait. The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seiros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? You think they're just being a party pooper, Lorenz? You dolt. Um, no. No, I don't think that's it. Um, 
What's up? It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garigmach's 995-year history. So many beautiful flowers. Plants that can save or end lives. They're all my precious children. Huh. Okay. So the greenhouse is historically significant in the eyes of some. Ooh, look at that! Level up. We have so many more points for activities! Um... So much more points for activities. Let's, uh... What do we want to plant? The flowers are all three star. I think we've got plenty of food. Let's do some red and white flowers. And we will cultivate with magic. Okay. Everything looks to be in order. If I look at the map, I think. There's one person. Oh, Cyril. Yeah, I guess we can go find Cyril. Um... Well, I'll just teleport. Anything I can steal in these rooms along my way? I'm not sure, but it does seem that maybe things won't spawn in the rooms, so I don't have to check there. That would be nice. Uh, well... No. Just some character building from seeing what everybody's rooms look like. But no loot. What's up, Cyril? Excuse me, Professor. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? We'll see. Well, that's what I like to say. But I know Cyril will like me more if I say, of course not. <laughs> I hope you're not just saying that. Oh, he sees right through me. Okay. Then we can teleport back to the fishing pond. Or, well, if we want to check the whole school for bait before we get there, maybe should go somewhere else first. Oh, look at all the loot here. A beginner's guide to fishing. And a complete gardening guide. Who would have left those out? 
There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I don't doubt someone will go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery. But that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? No, I, I think that just sounds like some cope about your lost uh, collection there. Oh, you have something to say too. That boy who assists the Archbishop, Zero, I believe. I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almira. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. Huh. Well, he's clearly being raised to be a, uh, not a sleeper agent, but just a, uh, a tool for Lady Rhea. Huh? Hello. What are you doing here? Hey, did you hear? A knight wielding a scythe is roaming around at night. If he's a villain, I'd like to get the measure of him. Do you think he's, like, six feet tall? Um, what does it take to recruit you? Strength and Lance. Okay. I have not learned the Lance. Okay. What have we got? Hey, how's my uh, blood work going? Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. <laughs> Pardon? <coughs> you think the goal may be different than a simple assassination? Intriguing, I suppose the priceless objects in this room perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who can make use of them. Well, that sounds like hubris talking. What have we got here? Wellness herbs. A gift for someone with who likes their booze. Hmm. No one here. And my dad's not here. You'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. What? I'm a professor here. I saved your life on the battlefield just like last week. <laughs> Please don't, or I dare you to try. Uh. I don't know which one she would like more. I, I can't get a read on her yet. Um, let's go for the more fun answer. I dare you to try. Oh, come on. I'm only kidding. All right. You'd better be. Those abyssian idiots. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garag Mach. Excuse me? 
What are you talking about? Abyssian? Oh, I see. My activity bar grew larger, but I didn't get the fourth activity point. I still only have the three I started with today. Well, that's a shame. Um... Anything in here? Huh? Lady Rhea, you hiding in here? Hello. Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? Um... Well... How much does she know? I really have no idea. Um... Let's... Let's just say we were worried. I am quite alright. But your concern means a great deal. Okay. No need to let her know everything we're planning. Okay. So that's it for that area. So now, let's go to the cathedral. About 20 or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garagmak. On that day, Captain Geralt went missing. Everyone thought he was dead. It never occurred to me that he might have actually survived. The truly strange part is that in all those years, he hasn't changed a bit. Really? You think somebody... being kind of the same is more strange than kind of faking their death in a fire? That sounds more strange to me. I would like to read a note from the advice box. I have always despised the heat even as a child. Still one must be prepared to fight anywhere, no matter the conditions. Have you had any advice for enduring the heat? Um, look for clothing and armor that breathe better. This note seems to be from Dimitri. He's satisfied with my response. Okay... There's you... Ignatz, what's up? With the whole monastery preparing for the goddess's rite of rebirth this month, Feels like everyone's a little on edge. Um... Alright. What's up? I... can't stop thinking about Lanato. Oh right, you're... Related to him, right? He's your stepdad or something? I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Pull yourself together? That's a bit insensitive. Um, but at this point, what's done is done, I suppose. Might be. Or. Encouraging? Thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Okay. 
Hey, Flane. I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. What... what circumstances? Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off-limits, Professor. It's only open to the public on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. Oh. Uh, well, can I... grab this? A notebook full of cheesy jokes and bad puns. It probably... Belongs to someone who likes telling jokes. You know, I had a notebook like that once. Uh, kept it on a bookshelf in my room. Uh, but one day it fell off and it hit me on the head. I guess I only had my shelf to blame. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the Tomb of the Divine Seros lies. There she slumbers eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. Is it to keep people out? Or is it to keep something in? Okay... Um... Yes, there should be somebody out this way. Oh, it's you. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth coming up. Okay... Hmm... Anything else? There should be two monks out front or something. A knight. People seem to think that all knights of Saros are equal, but that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the order. For example, there are squires who are training to become knights, as well as full knights, like myself. Oh, and then we have the Holy Knights, such as Catherine. Those are the knights that can wield a hero's relic. I see. Oh, and you're a little squire, just like he said. The goddess's home is in the sky! She lives on a bright and shining star. But in the spring, you can't see that star. That means she can't protect Fodlan. That's why we all celebrate the day when her star returns to the sky. That's the day of the rite of rebirth. See, see, I've been studying. I know just about everything. Good for, good for you, kid. Um. Hubert, is that you? Oh, a dragon rider. You imagine the Archbishop being murdered? Yeah, I'd like to, but I don't think it'll happen, certainly, in the game. I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Um, of course not. Awfully calm, aren't you? I wonder what it takes to rile you up. Oh, right back at you, Hubert. Oh, actually, I, I do know what it takes to rile you up. Uh... Linhart got under your skin pretty good, didn't he? But enough about that. 
Oh wait, do I have any lost items on me? Yes, the wellness herbs. I need to find a bit of a drunk. Maybe Manuela. And then, oh, the notebook of jokes needs to go to somebody. Huh. Someone who likes telling jokes. <laughs> Alois seems like a pretty jovial guy. Would he have a book of dad jokes? I don't think so, but I do think it's worth checking. <laughs> oh, this is mine! I thought it had vanished! Thanks. I owe you. I knew it. I wasn't confident, but I did know it. God did in one. Okay. Uh, no. Wrong button. Let's go. Uh... To the reception hall. Okay, what's up, Petra? In Brigid, assassinations are many. I have also been the targeted back in the past. Oh, um... How frightening? Or I'm happy you survived. Sympathize or... F kind of compliment? Well, how frightening, I guess, could just mean, oh, it's fr your country is frightening, uh, as well as being targeted. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get closer by saying I'm happy you survived. The Goddess Tower has an entrance of narrowness. That is most good. The windows are not the most good, though. A target of ease for snipers. Oh, big windows, huh? Or wait, my dad has a flask, doesn't he? Maybe my dad is the one who needs the wellness herbs. Hmm, mm. Professor Jaritsa seems very familiar to me. I don't recognize his name. I guess the resemblance could be coincidental. Well, that sounds like a whole thing. Uh, what do you like? Magic and bow? Okay. Hey, Casper! What can I do for ya? I figured it out, Professor. The enemy must be targeting Lady Rhea! You... You dummy. Did you not listen at all to what we were talking about? Targeting Lady Rhea... Is there... Distraction. They're gonna make it seem like they're going after something else, but then they're gonna go for her. That's why they wrote a thing about how they're going for her. It's a double bluff. Impressive, right? I'm telling you, my intuition's never wrong. What? Just tell me what your quest is. Fighting terminants. All right. An artificial flower belongs to someone who wears flashy clothes. Flashy clothes. Huh. I mean, everybody's in their uniforms, right? Uh, there's somebody down this way. Hello. 
Do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir should it be stolen. No, the church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Okay. Yeah, let's check in here. Hello. All this talk of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation. And yet... Ah, it is nothing. I'm sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. Not on my... Tragic backstory. Okay. What's up, Tomas? I hear you have fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Yeah, she was alright. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Oh, is that how it works? Okay. Alright. We got that corner, so now let's... Head in here. Make sure we get these two. Uh, oh, class is on festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies, but now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor. I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the rite of rebirth? Are you saying that because it's Christmas, they won't... Well, it's not actually Christmas. What's the, what's the day in early July in Japan? Tachibana or something, I think, is the name of the holiday? Uh, I feel like security would be looser some other time. Well, I think it's not about security being loose. I think it's about security, on the contrary, being dense in certain locations, which makes it looser than evenly spread normal security. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? How about you? What's up? Did you know that on the last day of the rite, the monastery is open to the general public? It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a festival. Um. That's it for now. Why? Is this so counterintuitive? Like, you can see the boxes, and that the reception hall is here. And if I move right, it has the knight's hall. But then if I move left from the knight's hall, it chooses the fucking stable down there. Why? It makes it so <laughs> dumb. Oh my god. And then the stable is just to the right of the entrance hall, but if you move left, it jumps to the dining hall. Move right, and it moves to the fishing pond. Move right, you finally get to the entrance hall. Move up, you get to the stable. Oh my god. Who designed this? It's... Absolutely terrible. 
Why? Why? Why any of that? Okay. But, getting back to this, we have talked to everybody in the reception hall. So now, I will exit. And head towards this way. Oh, an online liaison. What do you do? The monastery hosts travelers from players all over the world. Travelers can give you deals on items, take part in recon training, or join your army. Use the local specialty option to buy items and resources at lower cost than you would find at a shop. Recon training is a challenge to locate them. If you're successful, you can earn resources. If you succeed multiple times, you can earn a battalion. A traveler hired as an adjutant. Adjutant? Adjutant, I bet. Will follow one of your units in the next battle. Afterwards, may sometimes teach you an ability or combat art that they have equipped. Huh. Local specialties. A training sword for cheap. Oh, this is. I see. Local specialties, remove it. My local specialty is the earthworm. My local specialty is weeds. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid. Okay. Um. Recon training. Choose a recon training location. Oh, hello to all of you. Traveler Dan. Arhar Banks. Or other players. Um. So, from what I understand, I'm choosing a hide and seek location. Oh, I can't go that far. I want to go in that corner. Let me hide in the corner. Well, that's fine. Okay. That gate being closed, they'll never think to check there. Um. Available travelers. Oh. It tells me where mine is, Cathedral. Available travelers. Oh, who I want to have show up in that location I set? Let's have Hubert be my stand-in. Send off. Send the selected unit abroad. If you'd like them to return, you can bring them back starting next week. Even while abroad, they will still be available as usual. Yep, honestly, this feature isn't used too much. The only thing it's good for is checking to see if there are any materials or supplies you might need or want as well as sending one of your own units to be hired for other people and report back with some money or trinkets. Um, 
If I make my lo local specialty a joke like I just did, will nobody buy it and then I won't actually get any money? If if do you get more rewards if you actually have it be a good deal? Or do you just kind of get a base income for participating? More or less? Okay. Uh... Then let's not have it be a joke. We'll make it. I mean, what have I got? Wolverine or some steel. Let's make it be the Wolverine. Oh no, there's I have six of those. Whoa. I could cook a lot of I could sell that for a lot of money. Um something expensive and rare. Um... I guess we could do some steel. Okay. Then we'll send him off. Good luck, Hubert. Okay. I've participated. Do any of you have good deals? An advanced seal! Uh... Sure. And it's guaranteed to be cheaper than the shop, right? So, the seals seem to be in high demand. That's a good thing to do. You have a sword for one gold. Is it a good sword, though? I don't know anything about uh, oh, it's... Wait, a leather shield? Why does it show an icon of a sword, then? I don't understand it. You've selected seeds as your specialty a few times, and sometimes you get at least 500 gold, so you'll definitely get some money because someone will buy it. Okay, cool. Um, he's doing smithing stones. And you are doing that sword. Coursing with electric energy, this magical sword has been struck by lightning. It doesn't have a very high durability yet, though. So I don't have the blacksmith unlocked, so maybe it's best I wait with that. What's up, Raphael? That the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. Yeah, they're hungry, Raphael. They just want Robin Hood some food. Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? And dinner's on you if it turns out I was right. Alright, is dinner going to be on you when you're Ron? Hey, Dorothea. People die in every battle. It can be by sword or spear or magic, but... But depending on who it is that died... Depending on who died, it's different. It's different if it's someone you know who was lost. Yep. I hope nothing bad happens this month. Well, you jinxed it now, Dorothea. Thanks. Big help you are. Um... Are you missing... A flower? No, you're not flashy enough. 
what new gifts did I get? Some new flowers for whoever. Okay. There you are. Our enemy's true target. What could it be? Levin's sword is good for Dorothy since it allows her to use a sword without focusing too much on her sword skill because it uses her magic instead. Oh. Right, and she's also yeah, she's got the thunder magic. It uses magic. Nice. Okay, I will go back and grab that then. Thanks for the tip. The monster has been around for nearly a millennium. It's only logical that there are secrets here. We better investigate. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. Um... I will accept that. Am I... No, not done yet. What's this? Some tea leaves. Okay. No. Um. Okay, still plenty of people around here, but before I forget, we'll go back here to you. Yes. Already purchased. You only get one. Train by... F oh, I can't do the, re the hide and seek games because I still have places in the monastery that aren't uh, open to me. Okay. Middle room. Doo doo. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. Okay. Oh, you guys having a little meeting? There's been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life. We've been ordered to help the Knights Patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone the world over? Um, I'll let you think about that. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, or s our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Um, what does it take to recruit you? Magic and faith. It seems there were forces opposing the church beyond Lord Lenato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. Uh, we only know a small part of this world. It's probably a more reasonable line of thought for her than... It sounds like she couldn't possibly imagine that the church has enemies. And for you, you like riding skills and magic. Okay. Um... That's it for the academy. There's the training grounds. Oh, once you get the opportunity to upgrade the Leaven Sword, its range goes to three. 
So it's worth upgrading for sure. Okay. I don't think I know anything about upgrading weapons yet. I assume something like that the game would teach me at some point. Maybe when I unlock the blacksmith. A handkerchief soaked in a strange chemical probably belongs to someone who is callous in their methods. Excuse me? Did I just find cloth soaked in chloroform and I have to go bring it to some freak? What the hell is going on here? Lord Lonado's rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest in Fergus isn't dying down anytime soon. The Boar Prince should hurry up and claim the throne rather than letting old customs hold him back. This better not be yours. Good. What's up? You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Hm. Because I've got other things to spend my points on. A training sword modeled after Thunderbrand. Probably belongs to someone enthusiastic about training. I'll check with Casper. And a badge awarded for graduation. Probably belongs to a graduate. Okay, you've got the bat, but I'll save my activity points for the end. Um, Casper was right through here. Is... This yours. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Where else can we go? We finished that area. Uh. So let's go down this way. Check out these garden areas. Anybody? Anything? Oh, there's something. An owl feather. Now I don't even need to bother with Edelgard's quest. I've got an owl feather of my own. Oh, hello. Have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that won the kingdom its independence from the Empire. Even the Church of Seros had no choice but to recognize the courage of Lug, the King of Lions, who emerged victorious. Um... Makes me think of what's his name from Elden Ring. Something Hora Lu. Yeah. The church awarded him a crown and the right to govern the Fergus region, backing him in his bid to found the Holy Kingdom of Fergus. In return, Lug agreed to make the Church of Saros the religion of his territory and permitted them to publicly proselytize across the kingdom. In the 400 years since, the Church and the Kingdom have continued to maintain very close relations. Okay. Kingdom and the Church are buddy-buddy. The Amiibo Gazebo. Never gonna use you. Hey, Seteth. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flane. Um, <laughs> have you been gained the candies? Is that what you're doing? 
Um, did you encounter any danger? No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. View your quest. Gather information on Thieves' Hideout. You may find information on each region collected in the Knight's Hall. Okay. Um. Alright, the lost item's his. Perhaps, uh. Is he a gr the graduate? No, that's probably Mr. Crest's, uh, Hanneman. Do you like tea? Are you. a felon? Okay. We can go to the stables. Ferdinand, what's up? Hmm, setting fire to the stables to distract everyone, to cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. That's because you lack imagination. But, perhaps our enemies lack imagination as well. I will stand guard and watch over the stable, and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. I made a dreadful mistake and ended up with two of the same tea set. Now I must give to one of them to someone who can appreciate its value. Could you help me find someone deserving of such a precious gift? Um... Sure. Uh... If you are an appreciator of tea, perhaps you would like this bag of tea leaves. Oh, I was looking for this. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello. Don't mind if I... A confessional letter. Confessing offenses to the goddess. Belongs to someone who feels deeply repentant. Maybe uh, that guy who was thinking about... Uh, Lord Lonato, Ash. <sighs> I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. Attack. Oh, no, can't go back there. Kitties! Meow! Meow. Okay. Gatekeeper? How's the girl bossing going? The goddess's right of rebirth is this month, right? Monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. I hope we get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs> okay. Well, free stuff. Some food. More food. Seeds. A used bottle of perfume. Belongs to someone who's particular about fashion. You've got the battalion stuff. I'm full up on battalions though, right? Or can anybody have a battalion? Um... Attack that rattles foes. Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, okay. Um. Bernadetta. 
Should we give you a battalion that pushes folks away? Anybody can have one. That's how their authority skill raises over time. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether authority should be a skill that everybody needs or just like a couple people need. Oh, allies gain movement around. Or heals allies. Yeah, let's get you even more healing. Oh. Moves a adjacent foe to the opposite side. Foes within range in that shape. Um... If I want people to move faster... Let's give that one to... Petra? I don't know. Uh... No, let's give it to Dorothea. And then... Um... Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to do that. No! Um, how do I go back to the others? Oh, no. What have I done? Um, um, um... And you typically people whose personal skill deal with battalions are ones you should focus on getting as high as possible so that you can give them the more powerful ones and deal some massive amounts of damage. Yeah, I think Riptide, Edelgard, and Hubert are the ones interested in authority, which is why I've kept them with the Italians. But now... Uh... If I go to Roster... Dorothea... Uh... Details... Empire Warriors. I don't want you to have those. Um... What have I done? Is, is the other ones just gone now? It's not like I bought them and they're somewhere within like an inventory? Their experience is maxed. Okay. There, they're in the barracks. Um... I don't want to dismiss. I want... the one in the barracks. Aha, barracks. No, I don't want to hire them to the barracks. I want... <laughs> Are you- why are these menus so infuriating to just, like, be able to manage stuff? There's something in the barracks. How do I access the barracks to just give Dorothea... ...the guys I have? Convoy. Um... Okay, I'm missing the Investigation Note 5, but... 
convoy. I, I don't know how to access the convoy. I'm sorry. I uh if I go to roster, if I go to Dorothea, if I go to inventory battalions. Why is battalion un why do you on this menu why do you have to press A for inventory? Inventory, I just think of items. Why is all this stuff, like, reclassing grouped under the inventory button? Surely there's a better name they could have used for that. Okay, but go to Battalions. And then... The Holy Monks. Sign you instead. Now, I have Empire Warriors. And let's give that to... Uh... Casper. Go to... Inventory Battalions. You get the Empire Wars. Okay. Weird game design for sure. I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff. I can't say, you know, I'd be able to know the right answer, but you'd think in playtesting there would have been early on some people being like, oh, I don't really... I think this is a bit counterintuitive and requires too much memorization. But I guess they just... After deciding on it, they got used to things being the way they designed them for whatever reasons they chose to design them that way. And then, uh, they just either playtesting didn't cover it or they didn't think about it. Okay, um, your authority is D+, plus, your authority is C+, plus, and your authority is C, so let's get you some C level. <laughs> C level. For now, if possible, assign everyone a battalion just to slowly start raising their authority skills. As you go on, you can focus on giving specific ones to certain people, but for now it's not a big deal to stress over. That's what I was thinking of doing. Uh, now that my attention was brought to it. I was thinking of um, getting better ones for these guys with the higher authority and then giving their old battalions to the uh, people without it. Let's see. Attack, ignite certain terrain with blaze, or that's also blaze. Okay, so the C level one is blaze, and hit goes down, charisma goes up, 1050. Is there any difference between two? Yes. Um... Avoidance and... PRT. I forget what PRT stands for. Um... I'll give these to Edelgard. And then... F 
fire magic that affects a wide area. Huh. Um... Rain arrows down. Oh. Um... Do I get another blaze for Hubert? Well, let's change the Hubert. Or do I want diversity of gambits? Maybe group flames would be better. Plus two to magic attack. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Um, and you... With your D... Can... Main arrows or assembly. I don't know, I kinda like what I've got with Geralt's mercenaries. So I'm not gonna think about it. Okay, you've got you've got you've got it. You could use one. And you could use one. Well, now there's some battalions in the barracks, so I can go to the menu, roster, Bernadetta, inventory, battalions. I can give you... The one that pushes foes the tile away. And... For Petra, I can give you... This one. Okay. Everybody's got a battalion. Um... Do you have... Crowd of Stock of Seals? Increased Visibility... Resistances... No, that's all right. Oh, but I need to go to inventory, items, riptide, items, take this, store it, go to Dorothea, take that. Okay. And everybody- oh! Advanced seal. Let's store that as well. Rusted lance we can store. Training sword we can store. Rusted axe we can store. Um... Just 
just clear everybody's stuff. Okay. Inventory set. Classes are set. Um. Oh, I should have looked. How's everybody doing on durability? You've got a whole spare. You've got a whole spare. You've got a spare. You've got a whole spare. You've got that. You've got a whole spare. You've got a whole spare. You're fine. You've got several spares. Yes, everybody's fine on weapons. Blacksmith is still slacking off. They should call him the Slacksmith. Okay. Um. No, wrong button. Oh, let's find Ingrid. Hello, found you. Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Fodlan. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. And you like... Dex and Flying. Okay. Now we've made it to the dining hall. Are you collapsing in the middle of the room? <laughs> so sleepy. Too... Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The Coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I need to find a way down there to get a look. Anything that would belong to you. No. Hello. Have you heard? Rumor has it that Death himself has been appearing in Karagmak. They say he appears every night and kidnaps folks. I wonder what happens to them. Well, I think they probably die. Something in the monastery that, something that someone might go after. There's so much here I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares. Wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Hello, father. What's the matter? You're running all over creation. You don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The goddess's rite of rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the goddess will return to walk among us. Sounds pretty sus to me. Not too likely if you ask me, best if you uh, keep that to yourself. Oh, I can't talk to you about lost items. I guess the beverage is not, or the wellness herbs are not yours. Okay. Got the quests there. Talked to everybody here. So it's back down to the fishing pond. Wait. What? Oh, you've got a flower. Is this yours? There you go. Okay. Q. 
gather information about the thieves. Is that something? No, why? Oh no, you're the one who asked me to do something about something. Oh. A little more bait. Hello. Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. Now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Are these yours? Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. I had a feeling. Maybe this is for, like, Dimitri? That'd be pretty dark. Dimitri, Ash... Hilda... And Hanuman... Are my best guesses? Okay. Let's... Go here... Are you the creep with the chloroform? No. I can't talk to you anymore. Oh! There's a sparkly. A warning for anyone heading to Conan Tower. It seems some thieves have made the tower their hideout. Okay. I found that. So now, can I turn that in? No, Sateth want to know about the thieves. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. Got the stuff. Now, I can talk to Edelgard, if I can just get to the Officer's Academy. What do you think, Edelgard, with all that information? There's a place that the church values above all others. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. The Holy Mausoleum. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a distinct possibility that the Holy Mausoleum is our enemy's target. Makes sense to me. Um... Hilda was in here. I found this in your usual spot. No, I can't talk to you anymore. Huh. No. Um. Well, let's go to Hanuman then. <laughs> Mr. Graduate? Is, uh, this yours? No. Belongs to a graduate. Um... It wouldn't be Catherine, would it? Oh, it is. Oh, this is mine, thanks. Glad to have it back. You're welcome.
Lady Rhea. Are you missing your noxious handkerchief? No. Okay, let's go to the cathedral. And check on Ash. Uh, is this... No. Someone who feels deeply repentant. But it's not you. The guy in the church. Feeling repentant. Oh, you feel repentant about asking your brother for candy. No, never mind. I don't know. It wouldn't be Casper again, feeling guilty about his dad. Repentant. Repentant. I have no idea who likes fashion, who's repentant, and someone who loves tea. Um... Let's go here. There's a scene. Teacher. Ferdinand would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Sure. Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That's my impression, at least. Um... She's a good student, for sure. She is certainly talented, no doubt about that. I'm not talking about her skills so far, I'm talking about her work ethic. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? I'm quite talented too, am I not? You are talented, Ferdinand, but I'm less convinced about your, uh... Your, your... Willingness to study. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. Um. No, I'll, I'll, I'll say you're evenly matched. Because he clearly compares himself to others. And if that's how he motivates himself, then I should stoke that motivation. If they're, he thinks they're evenly matched, then that will drive him to work harder, so that he'll be better. Evenly matched? Me with her? I was just being modest before. Honestly, I've always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. I can't stop you. Go on. Demonstrate it. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. Wait, where am I going? Can't you... Oh. This isn't what I signed up for. 
We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go. Two at once, that's... Well, it will be fine. Slash, slash, slash. Ah, oh, I can't do it! I can't do it! It seems you have saved my life. I'm sorry. Thank you, Professor. Level C! As motivation increased. Okay. Um, any other support to happen? No. Okay, we got the conversation going on. Um, so it's just a matter of finding the remaining points. Maybe Shim. Here is the graduate. Where were you? You were... Where were you? Um, I don't know. Any of you losing anything? Do you f oh, okay. It was yours. Thank you for returning it. Um, how about you? You big fashion nut? No. And you, are you the callous one? No, I can't talk to you anymore. Shamir. No, Shamir was over near my room. So I should sprint this way. Are you the graduate? No, I found the graduate. The graduate was Catherine. I'm looking for somebody callous and somebody with fashion. You're not the callous one, surely. Your fashion is quite good, though. Maybe you're the fashionable. Nope. Okay. Do a, um... Maybe there's... Uh, um... Traveling art. Men's flowers. Uh, um... Uh, uh... Um, uh, uh, um... Do, uh, uh... My, uh... I, I think uh, I, I left my... Uh... Okay. Let's... Fashion and callous. Who could the callous one be? No, I wasn't looking for you. I... Doo-doo's in the middle room. I don't think it would be Doo-doo. He doesn't strike me as callous. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, let's... 
teleport to... Jaritza, would you be? No, your only option was the training. And I already showed you that. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I know I'm going to spend an activity point on this, so let's figure out what's going on here. Beginner Sword Tournament. Focus on sword skills. Rely on allies. Or proficient with swords. Um... Sword users in my party are myself and Petra. Myself, Petra, myself and Petra are the main ones, and then technically, Dorothea, Linhart, and Hubert also use swords. Um, so let's choose Petra. First, <laughs> and she is wrecking them. Good job, Petra. You go, girl. Oh, there's more. Uh, yes. No need to restore HP yet. We can speed it up. Nice. Uh, keep it going. Oh, it's getting tougher. Okay. Uh, I think she could take one more battle like that and then I'll heal. So let's confirm. Oh no! Okay. That was close, but it paid off. Oh! No need for healing. You won. Congrats! Now... We get that stuff too. Nice. Can I enter more people? Oh, we would use another activity point. Well... I can't enter myself. So, I don't really care about the other sword users for this. Oh, I see. Five opponents. Yeah. That's fine. Um... Callus. Don't tell me it's Hubert. Hubert, you're not the creep, right? No, Hubert, say it isn't so. Where did you find it? 
Hubert, why? You can't go around drugging people, Hubert. That's not cool. Okay. Um. And then somebody who cares about fashion. Dorothea, I asked about the rose thing, but I haven't checked with her about this other one. So maybe... No? Okay. Particular about fashion. It's not Claude. Don't think it's any of them. Don't think it's any of them. Mercedes doesn't really strike me as the type. Um... I don't know, maybe it's Annette? Maybe it's Mercedes? Let's check. It's his hobby. Sorry, the, the are you saying fashion is the hobby of whoever I'm looking for? Or are you saying noxious handkerchiefs are Hubert's hobby? Because that would be very con concerning. Um, I gave you the tea leaves, so even though you look pretty fashionable, I don't think it's you. I'm looking for Mercedes over here. Do you look fashionable? Not really. No, not yours. Hubert's. Oh, jeez. Um. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Did I check with Sylvain to see if he's the fashionable one? No. Bottle of perfume. It's not your... Let's check with Annette. No. Well, I can't ask around. None of you seem to know anything or give me any clues. I just have to guess. It's not gonna be Bernadetta. Already checked. Well, I guess I could ask Dudu and Raphael. Just to be sure, I don't think you're a big fashion guy, though. No. And do do. You're not even an option today. Perhaps it's Ingrid. Bear Samoa. 
No. You suggest I ask around. That's what I'm doing. Um... Who haven't I checked with? Lorenza Manuela already got lost items today. Siteth, are you Mr. Fashion? No. Okay. It's not any of you. Um, I guess I didn't check Linhart. Ferdinand, I gave the tea. Dimitri, I can't talk to. The others, I've talked to. Petra, I guess I haven't checked with. Linhart and Petra. I have asked all of them. Okay, let's check. Linhart, someone who's particular about fashion. Well, you're a very particular kind of guy. No. Hilda? I already asked Hilda. It, it was in the spot where Hilda usually stands, so that was my first thought. But when I talked to her before... She said it's not hers, and now it's not even an option to check again. Um... No, not Petra's. Okay. Well, it's really getting narrowed down now. Uh... Did I check if Felix is fashionable? No. Okay, so not there. Not anyone there. Not anyone there. No, 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 no. So, the cathedral... Ignatz? Where were you? Here? Are you Mr. Fashion? No. Um... Flame? No. Okay. Better safe than sorry. Ash, are you grieving with fashion? No. Um. And that's all for here. Leone or Rhea? It would be odd. This is Reyes. No. Okay. Perhaps Leone then. She was around this way. I don't think you've ever expressed an interest in fashion. Oh. Okay, I am going insane. It's not any of these people. I don't know, is it Hanuman? Better be safe. 
So I don't have to come back here. No. Okay. No way it's anyone here. Could it be Cyril? I can't imagine why, but I'm at the point of extreme elimination. <laughs> No, not a gift. No, not yours. Not any of you. Not any of you. Um... I checked Mercedes. Dimitri I couldn't give anything to. Casper already got something today. Oh no, is it Tomas? Do I need to check if Tomas is the fashionable one? No, you don't have anything to say. Out of this list... We checked Cloud, we checked Dorothy, we checked Dudu, we checked Raphael, we checked those two, we checked Shamir... I guess Edelgard is the only one we didn't check? Edelgard, are you particular about your fashion? No. Okay, that's another area... ...closed off. It's not either of you two. It's not any of you. I... I've talked to everybody. So that means it must be a duplicate. Somebody... I already returned a lost item to today? Is it you? Do you have both the fashion items? No. Okay. Um... You, do you... Are you missing a second item today? No. I've checked with them. Ferdinand. Are you Mr. T and Mr. Fashion? I don't know. You're a good-looking dude. You could be flattered instead of being offended that I thought it was yours. Okay, um... Casper? I'm literally asking everybody. No? Okay. And I've asked everybody there and there. There and there. And there. And there. And I've asked everybody there. And there. Alois? I mean... I'm running out of people I haven't talked to. I... I... I've asked everyone. I am so confused now. Is, is the person not in school today? Is somebody missing? Who did I miss? Catherine, are you the graduate and 
it's fashionable. No. Okay. Then... I'm out of people. As far as I can remember, I have asked literally everybody whether or not this perfume is theirs. Except Bernadetta. I have not asked Bernadetta. Bernadetta... Are you the fashionable one with your hair a mess? and never letting anybody look at you. Why did you think this was mine? Honestly, Bernadetta? With 100% honesty, you were the last person I asked. Okay, well, it wasn't yours anyway. Would you like some help? Yeah, you know, I was just about to look it up myself. If you know whose it is, uh, feel free to free us all, liberate us from this dilemma. Otherwise, I will. The perfume goes to Hilda, but I couldn't do it. What did I do wrong? I, I talked to Hilda. Did, if if I have a conversation with her first, does it lock me out of giving her a lost item or something? I can show you she won't take it. Yeah, so you're saying that it's possible to receive lost items on days where you're not able to give it to them? Well, that's... That's some gameplay. Okay. Well, she'll just have to take it another day. Um, what do we have left to do then? I need to give the tea set to someone who loves tea. Is that actually a specific person who loves tea? Or does everybody love tea here and I just give to choose who loves tea? I've had enough of the guessing games for today. <sighs> um... Right, I forgot that's part of the game design. Also, the tea goes to Lorenz. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why he has the quest marker above his head. I was a little confused by that, but it's because I gift the elegant tea set to you. Thanks, SS25-er. Uh, how kind of you. You're welcome. Thank you for your help, Professor. There's nothing quite like a tea party to brighten your spirits, don't you think? If you'd like to get to know someone better, try inviting them to have tea with you. You may now invite your allies to tea for a chance to bond. It is possible to invite those outside your house, too, with a high enough support level. Okay. Um... We... have finished all of the quests. But now, if we look at the calendar, we want to go fishing. We did the gardening. Now we've probably found all the bait we can, so let's go fishing now. I would like to fish in the pond. 
I have two bait. Hyper focused and perfect. Okay. Got some pike and another perfect or a pike. Don't have enough bait. Um, are you sure today is a special fishing day? Lots of large fish. Is a pike a large fish? Maybe it is. And then there's the head chef challenge. Let's do that. You're the head chef. But you're saying it's time for the head chef challenge. Why isn't the head chef giving me the head chef challenge? I don't know. The head chef's mysterious specialty has been prepared just for you. Um, it looks like nobody has any preferences. Luck will decide whether it's delicious or disastrous. Well, um... Hmm. I want to motivate Edelgard and Petra. What's the other activity I'll do? If I talk to Edelgard, can I have a tea party with her? Is that a thing I can do now? No, wrong way. When fishing, you can usually wait until the third fish to see if you get something better. It's sort of a small gamble. Okay. Noted. Invite to tea for an activity point. Okay, so that is unlocked now. So... My options with activity points are um choir or cooking Or tea party. Um, let's. Let's do a tea party with you. Edelgard's not able to make it. Oh, okay. Uh, um, then let's ask Petra. I don't know if people would turn me down. Would you like to have tea with me? Yay! Host tea parties to bond with your allies. Uh, charis the charm stats of Riptide and guests will increase too if I'm a good host. Try to pick conversation topics that you think your guests will like. If they're having fun, they might choose topics of their own as well. Keep your guests happy, and they will stay as long as you like. Okay, sounds stressful. Um... Popular among common folk and nobles alike. Popular among many. 
popular for strong bright notes. Tad bitter. Well, let's go with the sweet apple blend to start. You have my thanks for giving me your spare time. Offer some tea. Talk is my only option. Classes you might enjoy. Working hours for guards, food in the dining hall. Um, let's talk about food. Oh. Not interested. Okay. Gifts you'd like to receive. Libraries collect. Uh. Yes. What would you like to receive? Will you actually tell me? No. Evident existence of crests? Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Let's talk about you. That's what you're most interested in. A nice tea time. I'll be waiting happily for you to be inviting me again. Well, I wish I could say I got to know you better. But I didn't. All I know is that you didn't want to talk about food. A conversation that we've had before. Do you not remember when we talked about food? Okay. Uh, then let's go to the dining hall. And Edelgard and I can test our luck. Oh, Petra wasn't motivated by that. Oh well. You had your chance to be motivated. Oh, a second person. Alright, I can bring them both. Petra. Yes. We have had this conversation before. They're half motivated. So they didn't hate it, but they didn't love it. Interesting. That's the head chef challenge. I'm out of activity points. I fished, I gardened, I did the advice, I've talked to absolutely everyone. The only thing left that I could do... Oh! We can have a conversation with Petra. Uh, let's do it. I should try listening when she's ready to speak with me. Um, if I go there on the map? Or... No, I'm not seeing the dialogue on the map. Um... What was I gonna say? I was gonna say... Gifts... In the storehouse? Yes. Right, so looking at the notes, I can understand why Edelgard came to the conclusion that the Holy Mausoleum is the target. Um, everybody else was saying their places are not worth it due to a lack of value, or an increase of security, or just having a very unique perspective of their value. Um, so just the mausoleum being open. But for gifts, 
weapon maintenance enjoyed by everyone traveling art or coins uh. I mean how are you supposed to learn these details about people whether they like flowers or not they don't seem to bring it up on their own in conversation sounds like something that you just have to figure out through trial and error of playing the game and giving stuff to people and then I don't know do people check the wiki when they play it should I just be checking the wiki about who wants each gift or is that meta gaming too much owl feathers are appreciated by everyone Hey, uh, I, uh, well, um, I found, uh, here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yes! Okay, um, then let's call the exploration for today. Or no, I keep not using taking advantage of the fact that I can ask somebody to join me in battle. Uh, what's it called? It's not recruiting. It's not faculty training. It's, um... Here, you'll probably have it as one of your options. Mission assistance. I should ask somebody to assist me on the missions. Who do I want to ask? There's Leonie. There's Felix. There's Dudu. There's Marianne. There's Hilda. Mercedes. Um. Hilda, Mercedes, Marianne. Who do I want to make easier to join me? Let's ask... Wait, what kind of fighter is Hilda again? No, I can't talk to her right now. So, you're not an option anyway. Let's ask Marianne if they want to assist me. Okay. That's that. Okay. And I have done everything, I think. We can s oh! No, I can't do the support yet. Just have to wait until she comes to me. So we can save. And finish exploring. Struct manually. Got lots of motivated students. Hubert, Fernand, Bernadetta, and Dorothea. You shall all receive instruction because you will benefit the most. Hubert. You're getting reason and authority. Oh, you're almost there here. Nice level up. Um, authority. Do I want to raise that or keep teaching reason? Let's keep teaching you reason.
There we go. Ferdinand, you are learning the Lance. So let's keep going there. Nice. We're growing much closer. Bernadetta, you are learning the bow. Nobody gained any perfects today. But it's funny that everybody's hitting C pluses in their favored techniques. Uh when I really only put that in the stream title because of the month. Oh, there's a perfect. I shall praise you. Okay. We're out of activity points. Check the group tasks. Um, flying skills. Increasing Petra's flying skills. Sounds good to me. Otherwise, it would be Ferdinand's riding skills. Now, let's keep them flying. Okay. Uh, then let's begin the lecture. So, do you recall when it spoke about unlocking someone's special talent in a certain skill? I do. It said... They've got their base skills and their base goals, but you can teach them in, like, other skills, and some of them will have rewards that you unlock after reaching a certain threshold with them. And my beginner assumption was that it would be good to level up their sort of base stuff first, so that they're adequate at doing something, and then that those other rewards uh, would be better to check out later. Would you say that's a fair strategy, or is the pro strat to just go straight for the rewards? I'm sorry, but you should probably just skip me. I don't have a question to ask. How would I even think of one? Uh, you just did. Wow, you're a genius! <laughs> Silly. Wow, I am a genius. That was a lot of professor points. A noble must know how to ride a horse, to be certain. I should know how to wield a lance, as that is the most obvious weapon of choice for a rider. As a noble among nobles, it seems natural that I focus on these two skills. Lance and riding. Sure, that makes sense to me. Petra would like to speak to you. Now is a good time. Professor, I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. No, well, it's neither of these. Why can't I choose the right answer? No, that is what you say when you meet the mate of your soul. The expression is, I fell for it. Allow me to explain. Thank you, Professor. I finally have understanding. Can I ask you about another word? The one that is written here. Is something on my face? Oh my. Um. Your cheeks are on your face. I admire you. You're so enthusiastic. Um. I admire you is not untrue, but I think it's a bit distracting. It makes it seem like I wasn't really paying attention to her. I think it's better to compliment. Uh. 
that she has enthusiasm for learning the language, and it's something I like about her, so I'll say that. I am without much time to study. I must use my time with wisdom. Is that really what you were thinking? Or maybe you have curiosity about the mark on my face? The mark? Yeah, the pink thing under her eye. You are already knowing that I am from Brigid. This is a mark from Brigid. It is a prayer to the forest spirits. A prayer to be protected. Hunters ask the forest spirits to have safe and bountiful hunting. There are many spirits in Brigid. I have more marks on my arms and back. They are prayers for my family's health and triumph. Are you wanting to see them? Uh, I'd love to. That sounds really cool. That gives me happiness. If there is ever the chance, you will see them. I have much gratitude for you, Professor. You always listen with patience. I can read and understand the language of Fodlan, but to speak it gives me difficulty. I hope I will keep having your support, and I will give you my support too, with my whole heart. I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Let's do our best. Yes, we will keep walking forward. Support level C! Now you're motivated. Okay, what did you say? Well, it depends on one's preference. Like, for example, if you focused on Dorothea's skill in healing, despite her not being very good at it, if you manage to unlock it, not only will it become one of her strengths, but it will allow her to also learn the healing magic so you have another healer. Okay. Yeah. I... It's hard for me to know what sort of group comp I will need, if like one healer suffices, if two mages is good enough, if, you know, right now I've got what everybody sort of is obviously set as. I've got, you know, the one archer, two axe users, a lance, two swords, uh, two magicians, and a healer, and it's hard to know whether that's, you know, a fine composition or uh, what else I would want to have when I'm a little baby, a little Fire Emblem baby. Um, will I participate in the hymn? Sure. Why not? They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Three of you gained a significant amount of faith experience and authority. Well, The authority is good for Riptide, but I'm not sure anybody else has gained much out of that. It's Flane's birthday. Oh, I could host a tea party with her. Will that use an activity point? No, I'll, I'll just host the tea party. Let's try it. Oh, but it does use tea. Well, um, a refined nutty tea. No, she likes candy. So I think... She probably liked the sweet apple. Yeah. Let's just go with the sweet apple to be safe. 
I'm honored that you invited me. You know about my favorite tea. I'm moved. I had a feeling. Dozo. Let's talk. Heart racing memories, shareable snacks. You like snacks, right? Yeah. The existence of crests, thanks for everything, monastery security. Let's just say thanks. The last battle, evaluating allies, close calls. Um, let's talk about allies? No. Oh well. I didn't think any of those would interest you. I wonder which one was the right answer. You're an interesting person, Professor. You do not seem to know much about yourself. That's because I'm a blank slate for... Uh... Let's... Nod. No, I'll chat. No. How is chatting the wrong chatting option? Hmm. That's, well, I don't know much about myself because I'm a blank slate for the player to project themselves into. Please take care, Professor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Our charm increased, somehow. Together, I think we can manage it. We will be doing the best. Hey, we did pretty well. Perfect! Lots of smithing stones. And Petra's flying skill is a D+. Plus. We work to grow. Everybody's improving. Some level ups. Okay. Um, good. I'm glad. Uh, hmm, maybe I want to change one of Petra's goals. Instead of the axe, put it on to flying. And... Uh... Especially because Ferdinand's got the riding now. What have we got? Pretty split of what people did. Can I go to the marketplace and get more intermediate seals? Nope. I guess the stock only refreshes every month. This item's out of stock. Um, if I go to certifications and tried, I don't have any intermediate seal. Yep. Just checking. I got an advanced seal. Um, if I check the schedule, no events, there's cleanup battle first on that day? Maybe more people, people explored this day, and then they did a seminar this day, and then they did cleanup battle this day. Oh, there's the Rite of Rebirth. Okay. 
Well, that sounds okay to me. Can't do certifications, can't do marketplace. So let's do the seminar. What have we got? Sword and Authority. That's not a bad one to do. Lance and Authority. Um... Bow and Reason. Sword and Faith. If I raise my own faith along with theirs, then that'll help with recruiting. Axe and brawling. I don't really have any brawlers. Sword and brawling. Lance and bow. I feel like everybody is doing pretty well with their weapon abilities through combat. So I feel like going for something that doesn't level up as often, like authority or faith might be the better move. That's my thinking. Um... This, I get my sword users, and I get my faith users, and I get some general thing, but it's only three. Well, that would also only be three, but it'd be authority for everybody. And sword. Mainly for me and Petra, so that's like... Three and two, like five... And this would be two. That's more like three or four. Well, let's do it. Let's improve your faith. I still have much to learn. Okay. Motivation of attendees increased by 50. Oh, right. I forgot it increases your motivation as well. Okay, let's go to goals. Let's change some goals. Um, Petra, I have not had you using the axe. I've been having you use the sword. So let's do custom. Keep you on the sword. But change your axe to flying. And Bernadetta... You're not really using the lance. Is there anything I could have you learn instead? Um... Where do I see... Let's go to status... Skills... Aha! You have stars on riding! So let's change your lance to riding. So for Black Eagles, Dorothea and Bernadetta have the best special talents that will be useful for you. Is that spe is for Bernadetta, are you talking about the riding being a ranged... Uh, cavalry? No, don't do that. Uh, no. Stop. Bow. And riding. Now you can go back. And Dorothea. Go status. Skills. Dorothea becoming a healer. Get special things. Alright. 
Um, you can stay as a magician, but let's get some faith going as well. Yeah, riding. But you first have to manually train her in it until she fills up the stars before it becomes a strength that she can learn on her own. Okay. By manually, do you mean during these seminars? Or do you mean with the, uh... Other stuff. I won't get the skill growth progress, but that's fine. Oh, or art, do you mean, uh... Through instruction? Because, like, they get... They level up in their stuff weekly or something. But there's also instruction, so you're saying I have to instruct them. Group task, though. Let's swap to it being Ferdinand and Bernadetta. And Ferd- because Ferdinand swapped riding, so now I've got two who want to learn riding. During the instruct. Gotcha. Ah, but Dorothea is not motivated. Damn it. Okay. Um. Edelgard, Axe and Authority, Hubert. Uh, do I want? No, I'm fine with that. Magic and Authority, Lance and Riding, Magic and Faith, Casper, Learning Axe really fast. Is there anything else I would want him to learn? Uh, let's check his status. He does not have any stars. Phi. Can I scroll through people? No. Let's check everybody. Oh! Edelgard can learn reason. Okay. Hubert can learn the lance. You can put the skill on them to slowly gain some experience in the field, but to fully make it a strength, you have to instruct them enough times in it. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh... Status... Oh, he has special for heavy armor. Okay. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. You will be doing riding. You will be doing faith. And you don't have anything. So Edelgard, Hubert, and Ferdinand also have secrets. Magic. Lance and heavy armor. Honestly, Hubert and Edelgard don't really need their special talents unlocked. It's okay, but they seem to work better if you focus on their strengths. Yeah, I I was not really planning for those two, but Ferdinand, I think him eventually learning heavy armor sounds potentially useful, but for now, definitely gotta focus on his base stuff. Uh, we have enough skills now. Okay. So everybody's goals are good. Let's go to instruct. We want Bernadetta to work on your riding. Ah. 
I will console you. Okay. Um... And then... Let's be sure to get both Linhart and Petra. Petra... Sword... And flying both get benefits. Um... You won't be learning flying on the field yet, though, so let's... Let's teach you about that. Nice. Linhart. I have expertise in the sword. Ah, uh, but you benefit from these. Because it's your strength. Um... Let's keep going with Faith. Oh, good job. And again. Good work today, Linhart. You weren't a sleepyhead. Okay, one left. Casper with the axe, or Edelgard with whatever. Um... Let's... Casper's already a C plus with the axe. Let's have your axe do some catch-up. Okay. That's the instruction, group tasks set, goals set. Let's begin the lecture. People are calling me a thief, but I would never be doing bad things. It is because I am moving very quickly without my enemies noticing. This is why I must be learning the bow and sword. Um... No. I don't... well... If she's coming to me with this... I don't know, is this a better strength for her than what I was doing? She, she had flying as a strength on the goals, on the, sorry, the group task menu. So I thought she would like having that set as a goal. But now she wants to learn the bow. Um... To become an assassin. Do I need an assassin character? Uh... Well, most flying classes can use the bow, so having some experience in it will be pretty good. Okay. Sure. Thanks. We will do a beautiful job, I'm sure. Okay, let's give it a try. Look, Professor, we did great! Perfect. Um... Good job, you two. Nice. Okay, and here, it's battle time. We've got the marketplace, everybody's good on weapons, certifications, we can't buy any more. Yep, confirmed. Blacksmith still can't use it yet. 
So, it's battle time. And we can do auxiliary battles at level 7. But su the suggested level is 9. And I think everybody's 10. So, maybe I don't need to grind that much? I could do one auxiliary battle, and then the actual battle. Just for a little grinding. If I'm... If I'm already past the suggested level... Um... Do you think this is a game where it's better to grind... Early? To be on the safe side? Or... Just through playing... The more required stuff... Are you just, uh... Wasting time being overly safe if you grind too much. I wonder. They both reward ore. I'm sure I'll use that at the blacksmith eventually. Let's... Let's do one extra battle. We'll save here. We've got our units, including Marianne, and Marianne is a monk. Uh, she's got a blizzard ice skill. She can use a sword. She's got sword prowess. Sword and faith and a little reason. Okay. So she's got the healing skills and also some magic spells. She can use her sword if necessary. Cool. Um, let's go to the map. See what we're up against. The standard one. Okay. Um, let's have I level ten. Well, you're eleven, <clears throat> so we can have you there. You three are frontliners who need the experience. And then Bernadetta, Linhart, oh, Marianne's seven, so. We can have her hang back. And I, too. Will hang back. Okay. Let's try this. And save. And fight. Begin! Player phase. Get that coveted... ...terrain. Move up. And wait. Sensei, 
Oh. Dead Eye. With your bow, you can hit either of them. 53. 73. Okay, so because he's off to the side, there's a lower chance to hit. I see. Um, let's do it. Or, you know what grinding the extra battles might be good for is leveling the uh, classes. Because some, uh, most of them have past certifications that they can't use yet because they're still working on their other stuff. I'll have you here. What does your gambit do again? Movement speed? No, there's no need for that yet. Uh, let's wait. You can move up. Let's have you... Oh, you can't reach there. Well, you can hang out here. And you can go here, I guess. Come at me! Um, if you stay put, your gambit is enemies around you like that, so that won't do any good. But if you just attack... Oh, they've got some good armor. That's not... Uh, if you attack with the steel sword, you'll get a little bit more done. Hmm. Do you have any combat arts that will help? No. Okay. They're just pretty tough guys. Tough guy. Let's do it. Uh, well, I could weaken him with some ranged characters first. So let's have you stay place, stay in place, and attack with your bow on him. Yeah, because they've got shields. Maybe I want to get a gambit going then to... No, I can't make it there. If you go there... No, that's not the right gambit, is it? Well, yours... Yeah, you have Blaze. That's going to set the train on fire, and that will affect me with that positioning. So let's not do that. If you move here, your gambit is a random shot. That's the three in front of you. So no. Um, I can have you move... Here. Uh, no. Are you able to move somewhere that you can attack? I can blizzard him. But that will kill him, and then my guys won't get the experience. Um...
if I have Dorothea stay here, she can use this on that guy. That will kill him. Nice. And then I can have you move here. No, or even here. Wait, if I rally, I don't think I can attack. So let's stick with this. Oh, that will kill him. But that's... No, I should... Have you stay here, then... When in bushes or forests, magic bypasses the extra defense and avoidance. So that's a little trick to exploit and use to your advantage. Gotcha. Okay, so whereas it's difficult for the melee fighters to finish off this guy there, it does make sense to use Hubert to kill him. Because then, when these other guys move up, to attack him. We can have you move here. He's not protected by the forest, but I am. Thanks for the tip. So then I can move up and do the same. And I can have you wait there. You can wait there. I'll have you assist with a little heal on her to get a little XP. And you can do the same with him. And then I can just cover this way. Okay. Good. Let's, um, how far up can you move? Only that far. Okay, so if you move here and you can attack him. You can move here. And wait. And you... Can move here. And do a curved shot. 
on him. Well, that's fine. Okay. I'll leave that to them. For these guys... If you attack that guy, will you kill him? No, not quite. So let's have... You move up. And you can use... Your new spell. Oh, uh, well that would kill either of them. Wow, that's powerful. Um... Sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if you stay in place, you can finish that guy off. And then all of you are... Do I want to keep them where they are? Those are magicians over there. Magic users. Uh, but I'm not in their range. So... But they're not in mine either. Maybe if I... Wait out here... And get as close as I can. Um... Let's do that. Nice. Okay, good. Oh, he's tearing ahead. Good, good, good. Like what you see, boys! Okay. They're moving up. Let's see. How far can you make it? You make it all the way up there. So let's go for it. Attack. Oh, wait, what's your gambit? Two in front of you. Pushing him back. Now let's... You do a combat art. No, I shouldn't use... I don't need to use combat arts on these guys. Okay, then you... Can move here, but you. Well, I do want Edelgard to get some levels, so let's have her move here. What's your gambit? Oh, it's like that. Uh. Is that going to hurt, Ferdinand? Maybe there's no friendly fire. I'm gonna try it. Let's learn. Oh my. 
I, uh... Okay, it did not hit Ferdinand. And they are now on fire. Um... But also, the spaces to attack them are on fire. Um, let's just head this way. It's gonna take some free hits, but I think it's unavoidable. You can head this way. Is there anyone who needs healing? Just barely those two? Sure. Get your single point of XP. Oh no, that was a couple points. If you head through the forest... Okay, now for you folks. If you move up here, no, you can't. You're not in attack range for them. But if you head here, you can attack that guy. And then you can head down here and shoot. Well. Bow just isn't very effective, but you'll get your shot in. Okay. And then you can start moving that way. No. You can't get that far, but if you go this far, no. If you stay in place, you can thunder to kill. If you push the ZR button, you should be able to see the enemy ranges. Yeah, I've been doing that. Was there something in particular that uh, I should have used that for? Okay. You can head this way. Oh. He's just walking into the fire. Nice. Everybody's getting authority now that they've got battalions of their very own. Here are the free hits I mentioned. Ooh, and it was close. Okay. Now. How far can these folks make it? You... Cannot make it far enough, but... If you move here, because you're never going to make it, but then you use your movement gambit... Everybody can go faster. So now, whoa, look, you can make it. Um, and you can also make it everywhere, and so can you. You guys can get all around. You can make it most places. So let's have you move in. And attack one that you can. And because you're a magic user, you can finish off. His armor doesn't matter. Ooh, nice crit. <laughs> 
いまだに見事な動き軽服です Okay You should heal him Or do I want you to get Some kill experience He is level 10 10 Still 10 You guys Um If you move here You can get the kill on him If you move here You can almost get the kill on him Let's do that Nice, there's the level up. Ooh, good level up. Very good. Um... I will have you... heal him. So that he may kill that guy. So he levels up. Good. And then you still need experience. You're 10, you're 11, you're 10. 12, 10. Okay. Bernadetta, I can have you attack that guy to kill him. So now you're level 11. And you can move in. And attack. Um, might as well kill that guy. Nice. Now you're 11. So let's have you attack this guy. Do as much as you can. We'll take some damage. Ah. Uh, Petra didn't hit Max. Or didn't hit 11. Oh well. And you can finish him off. Okay. Dorothea was MVP. Yeah, I guess her magic spells got some big kills. Okay. I can keep going to grind more gold. But these, these auxiliary battles, I mean, in a grindy lawn game like this, my instinct is to just do the grinding so that I'm in a position of comfort and that I'm not ever backed into a corner where I wish I had spent the time to get more resources, to get more experience. But... This grinding is not interesting, and I want to keep things moving for the stream, so I think we're just going to do the next battle here. Okay.
we, we're, we're two levels on average above the suggested level. I think we're fine. I'm gonna hope that we're fine when it comes to money and stuff too. Once all your units have taken action, the player phase ends. Yeah, I know that. Battle in the Empire. What have we got? Okay, this one. Moving down into the lower right. Uh, there's stuff on the ground. Including on the building that I can't get to. But that's fine. Let's figure out what squads we've got. Who do we want on the front lines? I want... I have one, two, three, four, five fighters. Oh, uh... Your details. Let's change your equipped sword. Nope, I can't do that here. Fine. Um, I've got those two. I've got those. You need a lot of experience, so let's have you be a frontliner over here. The Edelgard. Um, let's have you be kind of unused over here. Ferdinand, you're okay there. Casper, I can have you here. Okay. So four frontliners. Got two attackers there. Dorothea to help out there. Marianne being extra here. Brenda to there. Well, two casters over here. Let's have you go over here. We'll have these be the team. So I've got a magician in every squad, frontliners in every squad, and the healer in the middle. Okay. Looks good to me. Map is set. Inventory. Items. Can I have Petra equip? Yes. There we go. We can store the broken sword. Anybody else? Super low? No. Okay. Uh, how are classes? Nobody's hit max with the one they're equipped yet. Good. Then we can save. Uh, let's save here. And begin. Okay. We've got Axe users. They'll be coming at us one at a time. Magicians and arrows in a bit. Uh, last time I, I went in the brush and just waved for them to come to us. This time... I think that's... Uh, this time, let's hold them off here. I'll have you get the experience. Nice. I'll have you guys wait. 
でだ私ですか OK おっしゃあ行くぜ引きこもっていた一人生だ<笑>行きますか There have you way back here. Wagana, Ferdinand of Fon Egil. I said, as a Tatako, the tiny Agari Kincho Sriwan, eh? Okay. Um, no, you're uh, well, let's just do this. First, I'll have you do this. Oh, thunder is enough to kill you, huh? Alright. Guess you'll die then. Let's have you start to move forward, and you can follow over on this side. Oh, that's going to attract a lot of folks. I don't know if Hubert can take that kind of attention. Um... Let's have you move here and attack. You can finish off that guy. So, do it. And you can move up there, but first, you move here. No, you're not able to attack them, but if you move here, you can attack. And you can straight up kill that guy. Why didn't you get any XP? You not level at all? Should I not be using you then? Are you are you starving my team of their well deserved XP? I I don't want to bring you then. Um. Let's have you move forward and take a turn. There we go. Okay. So there's not nearly as many going after you if I send Casper down there. Hubert can follow. Hubert can kill that guy. Nasa <laughs> 
You can follow after. Or wait. Are there any items to gather around the field that I should send people after? There's that one. And there's these two. I don't want to send her over there and have her miss out on the XP. Okay. Who's left? You cannot make it past, so you just get to... Or wait. If you stay there... No, you can't use a gambit. Okay. Okay. Up next, what we can do. Let's have the sides move in first. I can have you move there. So you can attack him. Oh, but he'll do a lot of damage to you. Is there a combat art you can do? Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. And if you move... Well, no, hold on. If you move there... You can shoot him. So let's do that. Oh, but he'll shoot right back. No problem. And if I bring you down... You can finish him off. Okay. Up next... These guys are stuck until we kill that guy, so you can do that. With... Your combat art. Or... Maybe... Not. Um... Looks like... Maybe not. So... What can... can... You go there? Can you attack? Yeah! Let's have you kill that guy. Nice. Okay. Um, if I move behind here... No, I can't use my gambit then. What is your gambit? Disturbance that you... Push the guy away. Will he actually get moved, though? I guess we'll just attack. And 
and you can hang out back there. Next, we send you guys down the middle. You can take this place and attack him. You can head here. And if you move up... Um... I can have you heal her so she's ready. That faith is going up slowly but surely. And then you can just uh aim back here and heal Bernadetta, I guess. Okay, time for you to die. Time for you to die. Ooh, big points. Okay. And now we can converge on these folks. If I have you... Uh, well... If you move... here and then heal him <laughs> and Dorothea is able to move here use her gambit To increase the speed of those two, or those three, better go get those guys. Because you can only make it this far. And you can follow after. Eleven, 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 eleven. Yeah. So I want these ones who have active turns now to be able to get the kills. If you move down here. You can attack that guy. And then you can move up. Finish him off. Okay. You. You go there. Or if you go there. No, you can go here. And 
rally him. So you can move up here. And normal attack will kill him. Good. If I... No. Oh. No, that's not what I want. Um... Units. Edelgard. Never mind. Okay. You... Can move up here and attack. Ah, uh, he's heavily armored. So let's have you... Oh, that's a lot of attention, though. You go here, no, no attacks from there. If you go here, you can kill that guy. With no retribution. So then you can go here. Um, if you do a gambit, no, what gambit do you have? Disturbance? There's no need. You do a wrath strike, you can do a little damage. Wait, if you go back, you go over here, can you kill this guy? Yeah, maybe. A lucky crit? Yeah! That's my girl. Okay. Oh! And that guy went after the wrong mage. Punk, rather. You got the money? You got the stuff? And the battle is complete. Casper was the MVP? Why am I always surprised by who the MVP is? It's always a guy who was off to the side and just killed like two guys on his own. Okay. Then we can save that. Marks bookmark saves. You're really gonna have so many saves you need to bookmark them? Claude's birthday. I guess I'll practice my tea party skills. No, but it spends a tea. I regret this. I don't wanna spend tea on you. Go to menu. I don't Ah, damn it. Uh, what did I give him? I was just spamming buttons to try to get out of it. And I picked a T without looking. Uh, no. I don't want this. We're, we're redoing it. We just saved. Gotta use the saves for something.
sorry, Claude, but you're just not in the top four people I want to have tea with. I only have four teas. That student will not earn any experience. Well, there it is. What's the point of bringing them then? Do they, does it just increase their support level or is it just to have the extra hand in the battle? Claude's birthday? We'll just give him flowers. Okay. Certifications. Um, we want to go to the menu. We want to go to the roster. We want to go to Edelgard. We want to go to inventory. Reclass. She... Oh. She has completed the noble background. We can move on to being a fighter. Anybody else completed? Nope. Okay. Then... Uh... That's that. And we don't have any... Seals. And if we go to the marketplace, we can double check. Okay. Well, we can sell things like the bullion. That you guys got. Okay. Um, we can go to the armory and buy. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You are more than okay. Okay, so let's just get the rusted items into... Items... Store. Any other rusted things? Yeah, there. Store it, and we're good. Okay. The marketplace certifications are done. Let's do the mission. Assault at the Rite of Rebirth. While the plot to assassinate the Archbishop shakes the monastery to its core, you suspect the enemy may have a different motivation. Anxiety abounds as the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth commences. Let's deploy. Save. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. Are we going to move forward with our plan? I believe so. How confident are you in our theory, Professor? Well, the main screen for this mission said that the mausoleum was going to be under attack, so I'm pretty confident. We're not wrong. No one's intuition is perfect. It's ridiculous not to have doubts. Well, I'm no ordinary character. I'm the player. All that matters is how our enemy makes their move, not how our teacher feels about the plan. You seem a smite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. 
While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. Well, he wasn't the callous one who owned the chloroform. That's my buddy over there. He told me he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you'd be better off patrolling a coffin. That was said in jest, Flane, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Well, I've, I've never been one much for righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. A coffin. How fascinating. Hurry, Professor. We must find a place to hide where we can guard the stairs to the Holy Mausoleum. If the enemy moves as predicted, we should be able to cut off their escape path and capture every last one of them. An ambitious plan, Edelgard. Let's make it happen. I wonder how it ranks these all so differently when, like, odds are there aren't many options your first time around, right? Everybody's just going with all the people of the house they chose. I guess if people recruit the characters from the other house to be their tenth, then that might skew. Uh... Replenish battalions for 97 gold? Sure. Um, let's check the map. What are we working with? So this is the mausoleum. We've got... Guys pretty spread out all over the place. A mix of... Healers, and magic, and bows. Some sort of... Terrain that raises defense. Huh. Terrain that raises resistance. Terrain that raises avoidance. Defense, resistance, avoidance. That's more resistance, that's more defense. Got the tombs in the middle. A death knight! Whoa, oh, that's the guy who's been scaring people. Soldiers all around. But... We can't move those two. Let's get our frontliners in the front. Um, doesn't matter which which side they go on. Something like that, perhaps. And then... Yeah, this all... Looks okay to me. Uh, marketplace, we're good. So let's save. And fight. Defeat the enemy commander. Defeat if 25 turns pass. We were right. 
Unwanted guests have come to visit. Those central church dastards have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Our enemy appears to be after the tomb of Saint Seros in the back. Are you attempting to steal her bones? Not her bones! It would be best to defeat them before they achieve their aim. Look closely. There are contraptions of some sort on the floor. I see them. We must pay attention to our enemy's weapons and advance while attacking them from advantageous positions. Okay. We are in range of these guys. But they... Ah! Uh, okay. We can reach them. So that'll be good. Let's head forward and let them have it. If you attack, you will kill him. Might take a little damage, but that's okay. And you can move up and get that. Attack this guy. That won't finish him off. Neither will that. Uh, but if you use combat art... Uh, 30 ought to do it, right? No, not quite. But a helm splitter surely will. Okay. Now we are extended, and we are not within their attack range. Okay. Now, how do we want to do this? Do we want to split up to either side? I think that'll work out okay. We do have a pretty big party. Um... We want to go right to the side and try to use these and wait for them to come to us. We do have 25 turns. That doesn't... That seems like plenty to me. So let's have you move that way. <laughs> you can head that way. Um... Oh, wait. Uh... Let's... go back. Before they moved. Um... Well, no. Bernadette moving doesn't matter. Huber could have gotten a bonus, but is it worth rewinding for? No. So let's have you stay in place. No, wait, where's your... Where's your gambit? Oh, you have to be next to someone? But then the range of it... Well... No, I won't use it yet then. Let's have you move over here. Um... So we've got these guys each on one side.
I can have you move up. You can move up. You can grab this position. So then I've got four on each on each side. And I've got well, if she can heal, then I probably want you to go on this side. And I can assist you. Faith is now B. Nice. Um, I will have you. Go down the middle. Death Knight, prove your strength and scatter these fools. I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings. That knight is a powerful enemy. Let's do all we can to avoid him. Avoid him? I don't know. I kind of want to fight him. It's got 42 health. I mean, if you say so, I guess we can avoid. Ah, uh, shoot. Can't make it to that either? What is the point then? And I mean, there's the advantageous terrain here. But, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna come and get me. But if I take this one... It looks like these guys... Might... So... Where can you reach? You can't reach any of them anyway. Um... But, if I move you back here, and I move you over here, then I move you here, and you gambit. That levels up the battalion. I wonder how long the speed up lasts. Um, we can have you move here. And we can have you move here. And then for this side... I guess we can just... Go as far as we can this way. I'll have you kind of meet up back this way. And you... Can go that way too. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, they do nothing on their turns. There's no use in waiting for them to come to me. And these guys don't have the speed up anymore. Okay, so that was pointless to try <laughs> and get everybody there. It only affects that turn, so don't use it on people who have already used their movement. Okay. I get it. But I can move you here and use the combat art to attack you. And I've got the higher defense. And... I can move you up. Just kind of wait. Who needs the experience? You do, so... I can have you attack. You can't attack the guy over there, so just the guy in front of you, so... Um... 28, 24. Might as well use this one. Okay. Now... If you move up... No. How far can you get? You can get over here. I don't want to use the gambit again, so you can just go... ...and wait. And you... ...can move up. And that won't kill. Interesting. But it'll do a lot. Okay, that's that side. Over here. Let's have... Let's see, you're 11, you're 12, you're 12. So just making sure that you're ready, and you can also go. Okay. I'll have you up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. the healer. I can't get back at him unless... What's my gambit? Assault troops, uh, but that's just in a line. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'll deprive these other guys of XP. You need to kill. 
Good. And you can move up. And uh So then you can move around and murder. You can heal him. And you can follow behind. Wait, who's left? Oh, I haven't used these guys at all. Okay. Um. 12, 12, 12, 12, 11. Let's have you move here and do the gambit on this turn. Oh. I see. It's surrounding somebody next to me, not myself. But Brodetta does get hit. Everybody gets hit if I do this one. So let's do it. Renadetta can move all the way up here. There's those two guys. Um, If you move all the way up, you can stand here. And your attacks would kill. Oh, it would barely not kill. Yeah, let's do that one. I want to give Bernadette to the killing blow, but not too little damage. Nice. So Bernadetta, you can move up here. Use your combat art on, with this, on them for murder. And do you get a lot of XP now? You just never seem to get that much XP, I feel. Okay. Now for these two, you want to get right up close. So you can do a normal attack, take a little hit, finish him off. And you can end up uh, wait if I stop that. Okay, yeah, they have very little range. Assist. Heal on you. Look at you, you're one of my higher levels now. 
The reinforcements haven't arrived. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Oh, are there more to come? That explains why it would be 25 turns. But I'm gonna finish you off before you get the chance to pincer me. Okay. Now you get to slowly... Well, where are the reinforcements gonna come? Am I gonna have to run all the way back? I'll have you kind of hang here. Um... How far can you guys make it? Not far enough to attack like that. But if you go, you can attack him. Okay. He finished his base skill now. Um... I'll have you move here. And heal him. You can move here. Oh, and he's in de dead eye range. Goodbye. You can move up. Okay. And from this side... Let's, uh... Let's have you move up here. And if you do a normal attack, that will kill him. Oh. Oh, you can just straight up cancel it instead of speeding through. Well, I don't want to do that. And if you move up, attacking will not kill, but the combat art... will do a lot of damage. Uh, you... can go attack this guy instead. Oh, you're quite low on health, though. Um... But you can move up and heal him. So let's do that. Uh, let's use Helm Splitter Steel or uh, Helm Splitter Iron. No, it's got to be the most I can do. Takes him out. Nice. So then you move up. Kill the boy. And you can... Oh. Well, if you move... No. If you move... No. Oh well. He'll die on his own turn then. Unless he does something like that. 
Petra, you need more experience so you can get the killing blow. There you go. Okay. Um... I'll have you grab that, I guess. And... You got... well... Should I go after the Death Knight? I mean, if everybody came together to do it... Um... Let's move this far. And we can kill that guy. And if you move up this far, you can finish him off. And you guys can follow behind. Okay. So then from this side... We want to go as far forward as we can. No. Uh you move here. We can heal Petra. <laughs> They did nothing, but here come the reinforcements. Okay, I'll have you grab this. I will have you move up and heal Edelgard. I will travel as far as I can this way. And over here... I don't know, do I send Dorothy to try to kill them on her own? I don't think so. So you can head up and wait. 12, 12, 12, 13, okay. Everybody's doing great. 
Let's have you go as far as you can. Let's have you move up that far. Or wait. You move up this far. No, that's a rally. If you move up this far... Okay. So I can move you here. Combat art. Use it. Attack. Um... This guy... Then you move up. You can rally her. And you can make it this far. And I will send you in on your own. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. But because they used battalions, uh, we did not get a chance to strike back. Good. Okay. So... Now let's have... 12, 12, 12. Let's just have you guys... Well, if you could get that far if she's out of the way. Now let's have you go as far as you can. You go as far as you can. You can attack. Um... You can move up, and you can heal him. That's that side. You keep trying to meet up with your team, and they... Thirteen, twelve, twelve. Well, if you pull back here, you can use No, I don't want you to pull back there. I want you to pull back here to attack there. Ooh, nice! So then you can move forward and attack like so. You can grab that. And you can move up. And wait.
Well, at least the reinforcements are hungry for battle. I won't have to run back to them. Petra, let's have you be the one to get the kill here. And everybody else can start moving in. Well, I've got plenty of physics. Let's use one on Edelgard. Okay. Next up, we have those three. You're there. Have you go there? Who to go for first? The Death Knight or the Mysterious Mage? Because the uh, what was that? Oh, that's a auto scroll through people. Um... The enemy commander. Is the mysterious mage the enemy commander? Or is it the death knight? I think it's the mage. So if I want to try to kill the death knight, I think we need to go for him first. So let's send in the clowns. If I go here, he won't attack me yet. Oh! Oh no! That's very not good. Okay. When they say don't attack the guy, that wasn't just a cheeky, oh, he's a little strong. They they meant he is certain death. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the mage is the commander, death knight's scary. Okay. Um. Well. I guess I... I don't know, I guess I could just wait on the other side of the Death Knight for these guys to get there then. Let's, uh... Let's undo Dorothea and Ferdinand's movement, just to be safe. You can heal him. Okay, who's left? You... <laughs> Go here, I guess. I'm leaving all that yellow XP on the ground, though. Well, we'll see.
Let's uh, go here. Um, I'll have you run around and just grab a little XP. You can head there. And you can head here. There. Okay, um, I think you guys can just stay put. Okay, come and get me. Although, thinking about it now, yeah. No, it was a mistake to try to front line with my usual fighters if they're magic guys coming at. But I want ranged people who will be able to attack back be the ones that they come to hit. So I will rewind that setup. Began player phase. Let's redo that turn. Um, so if I want my magicians here, then that means Hubert can go here, Linhart can go here, or no. I'll have Dorothea, oh, they'll all go for Dorothy if I put her there. Uh, no, I don't want that. You'll go as far as you can. You'll head around. You'll come as far as you can. Um. I can put you there. Oh, they'll want to attack him if he's there. Not if he's here. We'll attack her. She's too close. Let's send you here. If I put you there, then that's good. If I put you there, or there, no, I think it's good for you to stay where you are. I'll move you. Well, they don't seem to want to go for you. So I'll put you there. If I put you there, and one's coming for me, and the other's going for him. If I go there, they're both going for me. If I stay here, then it's Hubert and me instead of Linhart and me. I want Hubert to get the experience, so let's stay here. <laughs> there we go. Nice dodge. Oh, 
Okay. There you go. You can move forward. And... You can kill... Well, you can hurt this guy. And he can't hurt me back. Um, if you stay put, you can attack him to kill him. And then, by staying put, you can kill him at the back. Okay. And by moving here, you can attack him, finish him off. Send her in for that. <laughs> Just let her die. No, I won't do that. That's a trap. Uh, you can't. Nobody really needs assistance, so you can just wait. You can move up this way. He's a mage. His range is around there. We're about ready to close this out. Uh, 13, 12, yeah, we can have you move up. Okay. Doesn't look like we're gonna get the XP unless I just have everybody wait. What turn are we on? Um... Turn 12. We have plenty of time. Uh... Send you up here. Get you up there. Okay. Good. Everybody's really set to kill this guy. And I've got the XP. Wow. That was... Not worth it. Ah, you're a skeleton! Hello, Jesse PM247. Where is that 247 PM? Uh you see the no spoilers tag on. What playthrough is this for you? This is my very first playthrough. I have not played any Fire Emblem before. I think this is my fifth stream of it or so. We, well, if you're familiar with the game, you probably recognize where I'm at, but, uh, chose the Black Eagle House, and we're protecting the Holy Mausoleum on, uh, a special day.
Are you a big fan of Fire Emblem? Very first? Goodness, you're a bit late to the party. <laughs> yeah. A whole other Fire Emblem game has come out in the meantime, but... Uh... I don't know. You, you uh... Every, everybody's got backlogs, and this was part of mine. But now I'm finally getting to it. So I'm... Excited to check it all out in all its depth and complexity. But now it's time for murder. So, uh, Edelgard, would you do the honors? Let's... <laughs> just kill him. Oh no! You are too late! The seal will be broken any minute now! Am I? Am I too late? It's no use! The seal is broken! You can't... Huh? A sword? No, I didn't use a sword. I used the huge... Oh. You found a sword inside of it. Made from the bones of the saint? Whoa! It's a magic sword! How did I get there so quickly? I was on the other side of the arena! Don't try it! I have the higher ground! Your little birdie mask can protect you from how bad you stink. Smell of defeat. Just in time for murder, your favorite. That sword is... I see. What a pleasant surprise. He got away. That sword. Why is it? That's the sword that was in the casket. Seems to be shimmering. Almost as though... Hey look, Catherine, I got a special sword too now. Oh, looks like you have this under control. You! Round up any stragglers! <gasps> we'll do! Roger that! Every time I'm surprised by the MVP. I, I guess she did get a couple uh, Deadeye attacks in. But I just didn't feel like she was doing all that much. Hm. The Sword of the Creator! Um, let's send this iron sword to the convoy. Yes. So here's something. If you somehow manage to defeat the Death Knight, your reward would be a Dark Seal. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need the Dark Seal in order to do the certification for the Dark Mage, right? How hard is the Death Knight? Because... When I got close and saw that he could kill one of my guys in one hit, I, uh... I, I definitely got scared off of even attempting. I'm curious... how tough it would even be. I suppose you would want to try to kite him with a character like Bernadette or something? Where... you've got the huge range with the Deadeye? Permadeath on? Yes, I am playing normal difficulty classic mode. He's pretty tough. Not only tough, but he crits pretty often. Okay, so takes a lot of hits and deals a lot of damage. Yeah. I I imagine it, it gives a good challenge for some insane people replaying the game, but yeah. I didn't want to make that a whole thing. Very groovy. Thanks. Um, 
The mysterious blade unleashes its true power in Riptide's hands, extending to reach distant enemies. The weapon's durability is restored by five each time he chooses rest on his day off. I don't want to rest, though. Oh, connecting. There we go. Uh, let's save the new slot. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Oh! Okay, so it wasn't just some random faction. These were traitors within the ranks that were assisting and trying to go after the uh, relic. Interesting. Oh, citing a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. Hey, Jesse, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard, Skellywag. Uh, I have a YouTube of VODs if you want to check out any of my old streams. I use Twitter, also linked below. If you want to see tweets when I go live, um, I stream weekdays, generally, um, either around 1 p.m. or a little earlier, uh, Pacific Time starting, but I've been trying to move that a little earlier as well. We'll see how much luck I continue to have with that. But, uh, welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Okay. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop, an attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Well... What are they going to claim to be? I, th I think they can continue with the second-rate theater if we can get some more information. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. We're well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, we'll willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. I mean, that doesn't seem in our own best interest. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived. It's no use arguing, you pig. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. So you have a sword that can attack from a range of two. Nice. And your souls find peace as they return to the goddess. Wait, please! The goddess would never forgive you for our execution. Uh, you're arguing with the Archbishop there. Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. Don't let them speak any more, lest they say something even more incriminating. With actual helpful details. That's that, I suppose. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum, it was all the Western Church is doing. Was it? Are you sure? I don't believe it. That masked knight who led the attack somehow managed to disappear without a trace. Church of Seros clearly isn't as unified as it would hope to appear. It seems the bishop of the Western Church was always opposed to the church being ruled centrally from Garag Perhaps they hope to remove the archbishop in order to completely strip the central church of its authority. Or perhaps those guys were just dressed up as the Western Church uh, as a ruse. They were told, 
I don't know, maybe they were just random guys who were told, oh, if you steal this thing, you can sell it. And if you get caught, no worries. You just tell them, you know, you're just mercenaries in search of money for food or something. But the guys in charge behind pulling the strings there have some other goal. And the central church is happy to have an excuse to turn it into a holy war that they can fight back. I don't know. There's dark tidings afoot. Hmm. The Western Church dot dot dot. I'll go with that one. That's right. Geralt mentioned that you were raised without any exposure to the church. In order to function more efficiently, the Church of Seros is split into several smaller entities. So pessimistic? You think my, my conspiracies of thinking the Central Church is up to no good uh, is pessimistic? Maybe. I like to be proven wrong. The Central Church is the largest and leads the organization from Garag Mak. I just can't shake the feeling that Lady Rhea is the real big bad behind everything. She's got real big bad energy to me. And so all my... All my guesses are going to assume <laughs> that... Uh, these children who are being taught about holy wars and murder and being raised to be pawns of the church, uh, that they're just tools of an evil force who seeks dominion over all. Uh, whereas people on the outskirts who our characters have no exposure to are just, you know, good people trying to make a living, trying to get by, trying to defend what lives they have. Uh, but we're being tricked into thinking that they are the aggressors. That's my... ...guesses so far. The Western Church extends from Castle Gaspard, where Lord Leonardo rebelled into the far west. They can be found just beyond the most renowned stronghold of the kingdom, the fortress city of Arianrod. It seems the knights have been tasked with subduing the leaders of the Western Church. Maybe given the opportunity to help them with their mission. To think. Our own professor was born in Fodlan and yet knew nothing of the church. I never imagined explaining something so basic to an instructor of mine. You're something of a special case, are you not? Well, who needs to know about the church when I've got the goddess in my head? How strange that the Archbishop would ask someone like that to lead her students. There's clearly more to the decision than we know. Yeah, I think she hopes that somebody so ignorant will make an excellent tool. Lady Rhea is pretty scary sometimes, but to execute that whole group just like that? It seems harsh, even for her. Good instinct, Casper. Hold on to that belief. It is super harsh. If one of us does something bad, I wonder what she would do to us. Yes, she does want you to fear her. But, uh, let's not do that. Let's try to think of some other reactions. Professor, do you agree with the Archbishop's actions? No, I don't. But I don't get the chance to tell you, because that would let me steer the story in a direction of my choosing. Uh, there you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. This guy's new, I think, but the guy he's talking to, I recognize, was the... One who um, incited the bandits. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. Okay. Huh. 
So it was a genuine assassination attempt. And it was the Western Church? I have news, both good and bad. This guy has a voice like the Death Knight, and he's masked like the Death Knight, but it's entirely different armor, so I assume they're two different characters. Okay. I suppose the Death Knight must work for him? And that he told him about the remains of Saros being replaced by a sword? The remains of Saros were not in the tomb. However, something else was. The sword of the creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the king of liberation. Thief. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the academy's new professor. You did lead your students to their first life and death battle. Yeah. Uh, students really shouldn't have to be doing that kind of stuff, but I guess we're low on soldiers, even though there's literally dozens of battalions that can be hired. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the crest stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Huh. As expected be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the crest stone, the sword glowed red. The professor's crest is compatible, there is no mistake in it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Okay. So these guys are allies, not really working for each other, but working together when it suits them. But the Death Knight is being transferred over. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Okay, so the masked guy, I imagine, is like a more long-term villain, and that other guy might be who we're fighting next, and he'll have the Death Knight at his disposal? Maybe. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. Did you know it's a sword with range too? Isn't that scary? For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. Rather, especially to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Thodlan would be consumed by war. Nemesis? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Saros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Saros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. 
I have faith, said Teth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. I believe I can use him. Oh. Uh. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the sword of the Creator. I cannot pass up this opportunity. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. Hey, so this is you, here to talk in my head. Sword of the Creator, the King of Liberation. Each tale is more confusing than the last. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit at my limit here, so this... And I really can't read that Rhea at all. Well, I read her as an unreadable Palpatine type. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? It certainly is strange. The sword chose me. No, it's definitely... There's strangeness at play. I, I will not concede that just because the sword l chose me that that's a good reason to give it to me. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Cat... Cat? Yes, Catherine. Yes, her! The sword of the creator is different from her thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. Yeah, it's missing its crest, the bad guys told me. I despise not knowing what is going on. It, it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. I'm not in anybody else's head. Whatever comes to pass, please. Swear to cut a path that is your own. I'll do my best. But, I feel like... Uh... The path of tragedy... Will not be avoided. And we can only hope to do our best on the tragic path that is given to us. To avoid complete losses. Oh! Are we moving into a new month? I guess it's time to call it then. The ceaseless rains, landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, cloud parts to give way to a glorious rainbow. It's Pride Month! But it's August, I think. Oh, it's actually August. I wonder if anybody actually tries to play this game by the calendar. Just sort of like one week at a time every week. That would be incredibly slow. New places to explore. 4,000 gold. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom Territory to eliminate some thieves. Is that really what we should be doing, Rhea? They stole a hero's relic from the House Gautier of the House Kingdom of Fergus, the Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is... Eichlin. He is apparently a disowned sound of House Gautier. Um... 
Well, I understand you want to eliminate him because he stole a holy relic. Uh, why was he disowned? I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. Gross. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power, even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of we simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Saros are away from the monastery purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. Feel free to do it at the end of the month. We're in no rush. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon, well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you, you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of the At Holy Sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hahnemann has been looking for you, that is all. Oh, do you finish studying my blood work? Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. How? I was literally the only person there. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the Sword of the Creator. It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. Yes, the exposition, the exposition has been very clear about that in the last ten minutes. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. I mean... I'd like that to be true, but I have the feeling I won't have such power right away. Even the most elite Imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. Um... It would never come to that. Well, never say never. Why does it matter? I'm just marveling at the potential. Besides, your power does not lie solely in the sword of the Creator. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. Well, don't be too scared of me. I don't want you plotting to kill me off because I'm a threat to your empire. Professor, we leave the monastery. Do you still think of yourself as my teacher? Um... What do you mean? Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Get there when you get there. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Oh. You're just gonna send me right to him. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you were able to awaken the Sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. No shit, Sherlock. I didn't need your blood work to tell me that the... My crest helped me out with the sword. If you're just gonna tell me now that this, my crest is you can wield the sword of the creator, you are the least helpful. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, after you demonstrated the crest's ability, it dawned on me what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of the greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. That's why I couldn't do shit. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I still cannot be certain. I'm really bad at my job. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. Well, what was it? 
Even if you can't believe it, I'd like to know. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the Cane of Liberation. The Crest of Flames! That is what you possess. The Crest of Flames, I say, really moving the conversation along. Your ability to wield the sword of the Creator has une unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial, and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Okay, you want to tell me about it, or you just want to say how special it is? You're curious to know how Edelgard is doing. Go for a visit? Well, I'd like to save. <laughs> Father, save. Oh, is Edelgard having a nightmare? Is that a ghost? A g g g g g g ghost? Who could that be? Well, the menu said it was going to be a scene with Edelgard. A ghost, perhaps? No, that is surely not the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was in your, on your mind. Now let's go comfort our friend. Who's there? Professor, what are, what are you doing here? Well... I heard something. I'm not going to let you try to get away with it. Oh, perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Bad dreams? Ah. Uh, so you heard me then? Yes, I just said I heard something. Yes, it, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. Um... Should I pry, or should I be supportive? If I try to be supportive, I worry that she might... Uh... Brush me off, saying, oh, no, there's nothing you can do. But if I pry... Um, maybe she'll tell me. It is her secret to keep if she chooses. Um, let's try to find out a little more. Just my childhood. A time before I had realized who I was destined to become. Well, you can trust me with anything. Now I can be supportive. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try. But only if you swear not to tell a soul. Well, just me and the four skellywags watching. I appreciate it. I dream of... my older brother. Paralyzed. Helpless. My older sister, crying for help that never came. The youngest, babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. I once had ten siblings, eight older, and two younger. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. That's awful, I think is an appropriate response. How could such a thing happen? 
I think we'll just go with a that's awful. Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. The end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget. To never allow such terrible things to happen again. Never again. Was it just something that happened within your family? Or was it a series of plagues inflicting the empire that your family happened to uh, be afflicted by? Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire. The future of the Empire, of everything, depends on me. Well, that sounds pretty stressful. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I've never told anyone about my past before. Well, I imagine the people closest to you already know that kind of information. Like Hubert and the other people in the Empire. They might not know about your nightmares, but they know the fate of your family. Forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. Character development. And scene. Okay. It's Manuela's birthday. I want to have a tea party with Manuela. Um. What would she like? I think she'd like something intoxicatingly strong. Thanks for your invitation. To what do I owe the surprise? Offer some tea. Oh, well, it wasn't her favorite. She didn't make a comment. Oh, but she likes it. Says it's delicious. Let's talk. Mysteries, gossip, courtyard couple. Uh, I heard some gossip. Okay. What's up next? Ideal relationship, someone you look up to, thanks for everything. Ideal relationship. Yes. Who's your ideal partner, Manuela? Would be nice if these conversations had any sort of information so I could get to know you. Books you've read recently, working together, courtyard couple. Oh, do I want to talk about working together? Or the courtyard couple? Let's do working together. Yeah. You and me, Manuela. Drinking tea. Getting to know each other. Am I that terrible of a woman? So I'm a little unkempt. What of it? Um, I disagree. Well, wait. Is disagreeing saying you're unkempt or kempt? I'll commend you. No. Why was that wrong? Why is commending Ron? Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be waiting, Professor. Wink. Manuela, you don't you don't have to say wink. Charm increased. Oh, and nothing happened all week. I blew it! Did I actually blow it? Is, is there something I could have gained if I got that last answer correct? If I had... I don't know, I mean... When she asks a negative and then it says option disagree... No, it's just like that? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, when she says, I'm not unkempt, am I? And then it says, disagree, I have no... If I agree with her, then I'd be agreeing that she's not unkempt. I is it disagreeing with her or disagreeing with the people who say she's unkempt? It was unclear. Which is annoying. But it's time to call it. Let's save. And end it here. I've got a whole new month to do next time. Sometime next week, probably. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for following. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the VOD will be up sometime. VOD on YouTube gets added before the next day. Um, yeah. Things continue to develop at RPG speeds. Okay, uh, I've got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bon voyage!